Hello, my beautiful Scorpios and cross watchers. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you the daily reading for the day commencing for January 4th, 2022. So, without further ado, my beautiful Scorpios, let's go ahead and dive into this reading. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Okay. <clears throat> And rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number nine. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra and or a Virgo throughout the month of September. We could see the Hermit card kick in. I am also seeing the Nine of Pentacles and also the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Wands coming up in my mind's eye. <clears throat> Power of number 12. You could be dealing straight up with a Pisces. We could see the Hanged Man card kick in. But with the power of number 12, you could also be dealing with the Sagittarius and or a Capricorn throughout the month of December. Power of number 5, we could see the Hierophant and also we could see possibly the Five of Wands, Five of Cups and or the Five of Swords more specifically. <clears throat> you could be dealing straight up with the Taurus or a Gemini throughout the month of May. Okay, let's see here. We are going to go to... The power of number 26. With the number 2 out of the 26, we could see the High Priestess card show up. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius and or a Pisces throughout the month of February. However, I am seeing the Two of Cups in my mind's eye as well and also the Two of Pentacles. Power of number 6 out of the 26, sign of Gemini and or Cancerian energy throughout the month of June you could be dealing with. So we could see the Lover's uh, card kick in. I'm also seeing the Six of Pentacles and also the Six of Cups. Okay, so <clears throat> going to the power of number 26. Hang on one second, you guys. I gotta clear my throat chakra. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, <clears throat> 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Okay, trusted ancestors of my beautiful Scorpios. What is going on with Scorpio specific person? What's going on with them? What's going on in their environment? What actions are they going to take? What's going on here? Ugh, oh, man, oh man, this person. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> this <laughs> Man, this person obviously is obsessing over you cuz this energy came up for the daily reading for January 3rd. Guess what, you guys? It is the Page of Swords. Well, guess what? This person cannot stop watching you. Now it's become OCD. Somebody could deal with OCD uh, behavior disorder, possibly. Or this person is just... They're, they're watching your every move, Scorpio. Whoever it is that you're dealing with. Could be family members. Could be karmic co-workers. Who knows? But in regards to your specific person, I don't know. It feels like they want to take action here or say something to you. But it's like I'm seeing the High Priestess card in my mind's eye. It's like they're remaining silent. They've been doing this for quite a while. And it's getting exceptionally annoying with this person's energy. I tell you what. Oh, dear God. All right. <clears throat> 
what's on the bottom of the deck oh well ten of cups coming up again in the reverse something happened with this person and especially if they were dealing with some kind of a karmic situation or a karmic person bottom line ha huh. page of swords falling down this person could be falling down to their knees right now crying you never know. We might see that five of cups. Oh, trust and ends. Oh my God, look at that. Come on now, spirits. There we go. Why is this person spying so heavily on Scorpio and not speaking a word? What's going on with them? Well, this is a good thing. It's my least favorite card in all the tarot deck, but it, guess what? It's coming up in the reverse, the Seven of Cups. It's about the snakes in the grass, you guys. They're getting out of some kind of confusion, delusional energy about the people who are in and around their environment and probably not dealing with, obviously, the karmic anymore or they're preparing not to deal with that karmic anymore. But it looks like your specific person, Scorpio, male or female, does not matter. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, another water sign that you could be dealing with. doesn't have to be. They're running out of choices and options. Imagine that. Yeah, three of wands on, in the reverse on the bottom of the deck. Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius. Somebody here does not see the vision or the ships coming in. Maybe they're fearful or doubtful that the ships are not going to come in with you, Scorpio, if they reach out and speak to you. Give you that rightfully owed apology. Wow. <laughs> this, this person. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy kicking in, into the reading. This person's, they want, I just said, they, why are they not speaking? Well, they do want to open up to you. They do want to communicate. It's right here. They're wanting to open up and say something. Or they want to tell you that they're not dealing with somebody in particular anymore. <laughs> yeah. Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck, but in the reverse. It could be, this could be the karmic or karmic situation. Somebody's pissed. Either your person is pissed off that this karmic situation that they were dealing with did them dirty. Because I'm seeing the Ten of Swords in my mind's eye. <laughs> or this karmic is pissed off with, with your person. Because maybe, maybe your person figured this karmic out. Let's find out. Let's see what the tea is or the coffee is. I don't know. Somebody needs a shot of whiskey right now. <laughs> Maybe your person's taking a shot of whiskey or a shot of gin and just toughening, <laughs> toughening it up. Oh, my God. Show me the energy of this Seven of Cups in the reverse, please, about Scorpio's person running out of choices and options. Why? Okay, they're coming to the realization that they were exceptionally hasty. They made poor choices. And this is somebody who is mad. They're mad. Your person's also mad. It's like they're mad at themselves. I could feel that energy. And they're mad at the karmic. And they're mad at the people. They're mad at themselves for being persuaded to, to move on from you. That's what I'm picking up on. Because this person's wanting to open up here. What? God almighty, what's on the bottom of the deck? I don't know, Scorpio. Here's the judgment card, but it's coming up in the reverse. Okay. So, I feel like this energy is in both directions. This person may not have learned all of their lessons just yet. But I feel like this is going to be flipping to the right side up pretty soon here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which way does this want to go? We have the devil card, but it was kind of coming up in the reverse. So guess what? I'm going to put this sideways because I feel it's both ways. 
they're okay here's the karmic okay and more specifically your specific person could be a capricorn straight up for some of them they are obsessing though like i said they're highly obsessing over you they want to open up desperately because something's not going in their favor For the devil in the upright. <sighs> for the devil in reverse. Well, I'm going to wait on that for just a second here. Let's see why. Who's pissed off? Why is that knight of swords in the reverse? And the page of swords, why are they just obsessively watching you? <laughs> well, something went down with a soulmate connection with your person and whatever, whoever they were dealing with, whoever the devil activity was. Okay, so trusted ancestors, it's appearing that possibly Scorpio's person is in a pissed off mode, or it could be the karmic pissed off of Scorpio's person. <laughs> Somebody was hasty. So what's going on? Who's pissed off? <laughs> Listen, it is the karmic. The karmic is pissed off, blazing mad. They could be dealing straight up with a fire sign more specifically. It doesn't have to be an Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius for some of them. Oh my God. Talk about the control and manipulation. Unreal. I feel like your person, Scorpio, is trying to, I feel like they're almost trying to shut down, but yet at the same time, they're trying to open up to you. God almighty. <sighs> it feels like an episode of Dallas or Dynasty from the 80s, I swear. Yeah, somebody got breadcrumbed. Somebody doesn't want equal give and take, equal reciprocity with this karmic. Uh-uh. All right, <clears throat> moment of truth. The devil is feeling it in both directions because their choices and options are running out. Somebody's pissed off. They're pissed off at the karmic or they want to open up to you to tell you what the karmic was doing. Oh, how sweet of them to tell you, Scorpio, which you already knew this information was headed in your direction anyway. And that it is going to be headed in your direction. You're going to find out. You could end up finding out through other people. Or you're going to find out straight up from the horse's mouth. So show me the double activity in the upright trusted ancestors. How is this coming into play with Scorpio's person? Wow. Yeah, something. We're, okay, listen. When I say something did not work out or something is not working out in this present moment. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Somebody could have been, your person could have been using this karmic for money or the karmic was using your person for their money. Somebody's not putting in time, energy, dedication, and devotion and nobody here is trying to earn or win back somebody's trust. No. I was almost going to say for two seconds like the karmic trying to earn your person's trust back. I, I don't think so. There, there, there's... Ugh, there's a hot mess going on. Okay, so, and it's like their only mental escape, Scorpio, is to spy, <laughs> is to spy in on you. How sweet of them. <laughs> Show me the activity of the devil in the reverse. If somebody's running out of choices and options, somebody's wanting to open up and get away from some kind of toxic situation or toxic person. Why is it in the reverse? I'm feeling it both ways. Why? Okay. The justice card is coming up in the reverse. Oh, my God. 
the reason why somebody is wanting to release themselves from this karmic is is because or karmic family members karmic situation it's because there was deception you guys massive major deception and somebody got their karma with a capital k it's one thing to get karma from the justice card in the wheel of fortune but when you get it from justice when you get karma from the justice card because guess what nothing can break down the walls of justice uh-uh deception 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 that your person is going through has been through going through in the present moment they're being lied lied to cheated on etc <clears throat> Show me why this Queen of Wands is so pissed off with Scorpio's person. Why? Because they don't want to be with them anymore. Lover's card coming up in the reverse. Oh, boy. Toto's acting up. So he's getting whiny. Yeah, because she could feel the energy. Just wait a minute, baby girl. Yeah, some somebody saw the light. Hanged man card, but in the reverse. Somebody's getting out of a stuck position. They're trying to, they're, this person that you're dealing with, they're figuring it out. Because they're not getting their over the rainbow moment. Ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. So like I said, um, here's the power of number uh, 12 coming in. We saw the power of number 6 out of the 26 that I shuffled the deck to. So I said some of you guys could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Gemini throughout the month of June. Yes, Piscean energy coming in through the Hanged Man card. Okay, Toto, that's enough. Where's, where's your treat? Where's your treat at? Huh? Where's your treat? Everybody can hear you. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. This person has seen the light, has seen the truth. The truth of the lies and the deception of this karmic, or the karmic is seen the tr the deception or the truth of the lies from your person i think i think both of them are lying to one another to be honest with you this is what i'm picking up on go get your piggies here go on go on you're okay you're okay i gotta hurry i gotta finish this reading baby girl okay Message from the hanged man in reverse. How did this person see the light about this karmic? They were using their higher intuition. Power of number two. I did say we could see the high priestess card. Your person's first and or last name could start with the letter B or the letter J for some of them. Some of you guys, again, are dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces throughout the month of February for some of you. They were, their intuition, their crown chakra or their third eye kicked in. Or it's kicking in right now as I speak. Okay. Show me justice in the reverse. What was the lies? What was the deception? What was the karma between Scorpio's person and the karmic people or karmic situation or the karmic itself? Something about communication and or travel or where this person was going to. There was deception about some kind of communication. If you've been in any form of contact with your specific person, Scorpio, this person could have been denying it to the karmic or the karmic was denying that they were in communication with somebody else. Message from the high priestess. How did their crown chakra or their third eye open up or get the wisdom, discernment, or guidance to see the truth of this karmic? <clears throat> I did say we could see the Nine of Wands. Okay, hang on one second here. Nine of Wands is coming up in the reverse. Somebody here let their guard down. So what that tells me is that this person that you were dealing with, Scorpio, put far too much trust in this karmic as if they were their ultimate soulmate, etc. No, they weren't. So in some regard, I feel this energy is in both ways, but I'm not going to clarify it in both ways. In fact, I'm not going to clarify this at all because somebody is unjustly playing the wounded warrior, meaning your person, in regards to this karmic or karmic people, karmic family members, whatever. OK, 
okay? Somebody let their guard down because they had put far too much trust. They weren't trusting their intuition. Something happened. There was deception about some kind of communication, where your person was going, where this karmic was going. Give me more information on the Eight of Wands. Oh, somebody could have also found out that this karmic was either secretively married to somebody else or like divorce and all of that, or they were just dealing with another person or that the karmic found out that your person was dealing with you and them at the same time for some of them. Some of them could have found some uh, te former text messages you know, maybe um, this this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, more specifically, does not have to be. But um, it could very well be true that if this person, your person, Scorpio, let their guard down with the karmic, that somehow, some way, I feel this person gave them their password or code maybe to get into their phone and or their uh, emails etc. This person let their guard down with this karmic and this karmic went off like a raging banshee. That That's what I'm picking up on. And or if they weren't talking to you and those text messages or whatever recorded, you know, voice messages, whatever. Okay. Um, then it could have been somebody else in the mix because remember choices and options are running dry. So this karmic could have called your person out on a lot of things. Or your person found out that the karmic was dealing with other people. Okay. And or <clears throat> with this king of pentacles in the reverse, this also tells me too that this person still to some degree has, yes, feelings for you, Scorpio, because they're heavily spying in on you. Their curiosity is up as far as what is going on with you more specifically. And it could be that your person does not want to give commitment, long, full, blown out commitment, long term, anything that has to do with marriage, etc. to this other person. We're talking massive deception here between your person and the karmic. That's what I'm picking up on. Because justice is in the reverse and the devil card is here. Somebody didn't trust their intuition. They let their guard down with this karmic. Show me the king of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody ended up being controlling and manipulating. And for some of you guys, you're dealing with the Gemini straight up. The magician card. Rima, and, and somebody got played King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Show me the, show me the magician. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody was a gold digger. Somebody was using somebody for their money. Somebody became needy, codependent, clingy, etc. So we have a king and the queen of the same suit. But we have a karmic. You know, I feel like this person feels that they blew their chance with you, Scorpio. They're, I I can't help but not feel the regret. Yeah, they. here you are, bottom of the deck, death card. Now they're seeing you being the phoenix rising up out of the ashes, and that's another reason why they're spying in on you or finding out information from other people. I feel this energy, is, it technically came up in the reverse, but I feel it, it it's more in the upright. Yeah. Competition, mind games. Your person could be playing mind games with the karmic or the karmic's playing mind games with your person. But either way, it's competition. And this person damn well knows that they put you in competition, yes, with this karmic. There's no doubt about this. I feel that this person is reflecting, reflecting on previous months that have gone by and how they treated you. So now the moment of truth again, why are they in the page of swords mode? Why are they obsessively watching you? Why? Why? 
because I think I, I just called out this energy, not necessarily the card itself. They don't, they basically, they don't know. They think that they mess, they missed out on an opportunity with you because the Six of Swords is in the reverse. They don't know if they're going to be able to move forward with you for some of them. They're doubtful. They may have gotten some mental clarity about this person that they're dealing with or the karmic got mental clarity about your person and how they are, okay? <sighs> this person, I think, is fearful that you're going to say no with a capital N, that you're not going to want to move forward with them. Show me the Six of Swords in the reverse. <clears throat> Imagine this. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, see, they want to come back to you, Scorpio. But they're, they, they don't know if you're going to say yes or no. This person, I feel, is in desperation to come back to you. Yeah, look at that. Nine of Swords, bottom of the deck. They're all up in their freaking head. They're watching you late at night. <clears throat> oh, my God. And my throat chakra is just unbelievably getting closed up. This person wants to speak their truth. They cannot. They know they messed up with you. <clears throat> This is from the Eight of Cups. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Remember how I said it's one thing if somebody gets their karma and it's coming through the judgment card or Wheel of Fortune. But when you get it through justice, now look at they are getting hit up with karma royally. Things are not going or the wheel is not turning in their favor. Do not believe everything that you're seeing on social media with them and this other person. It don't matter if they got married to this person. It don't matter. Those are, those are circumstances because you can manifest for anything that you want with this person. But in general, this person is getting hit up. Nothing is going right for them and they're afraid. That they're not going to have the fate and destiny with you. So they're, they're, they're fearful. I'm picking up fear. And that fear can come through the devil card. Because they know that they lied to you. They know that they were being untruthful. This is from the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. They, they, they are afraid of you. They're afraid, Scorpio, that you're going to chop their head off, that you're going to really ream into them. Because the Queen of Swords, oof, look out. Queen of Swords, it's one thing with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. But when you got the Queen of Swords in the reverse, whoo, ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, we're talking screaming at the top of your lungs, okay? This is what they're fearful of. That you're going to call them out when they know in truth everything that they did. They know everything that they did. That, but this is the last energy that they really want to feel from you because they want to return back to you. They're scared. They're scared of you. They're scared that this, this, this situation between you and them, it's done. They feel like you are going to say no to them with a capital N. <sighs> Queen of Swords in the reverse. They see you being strong, confident, independent. You're working in on your financial empire, your personal passions, dreams, and goals. See, this energy that you guys have been exuding by you guys working in on yourself, your person's picking up on this energy. They're picking up on it. They're feeling it. Even if they haven't contacted you in a while, they're feeling it. And it's highly attracted to them. Because all they got was a hot ass circus mess. That's what they got. They got quicksand. That's what they ended up getting. 
And this, this person is fearful that you're going to chop their head off, that you're going to say no with the capital N, and you're just going to, like, you're just going to want to stay in your personal power, Scorpio, and not give two hoots about this person. They're afraid that they're going to get left behind, that you're not going to want to balance things out with them. They're fearful. But they're obsessing. They're, they're cut in the middle of the deck. Yeah, they do want to return back to you. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh my God, this person really needs to pull it together. So Scorpio cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com. Until next time, my beautiful Scorpios, take care.